Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let's take a look at the Car Rental Center, the new one at LAX. Gonna try a live stream here, see how well the signal holds on. And let me flip you guys around here. Across the street, there's National, kind of in the distance. And I'm just going to pan around. Hopefully this uh, works, otherwise I'll try it again. We'll see how long the battery holds up. So we're at the corner. The intersection here. I'm not sure if this is a new street, but Arbor Vite, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, the returns are actually uh, down there, and I think they take you around the building because this is one way out. Where we're looking at here, this is one way out, so you can see the shuttles, the Avis and the Baylor shuttles coming out here. There's the big sign that is new, that wasn't here last week. So this is the uh, kind of on the corner where the visitor entrance is. For visitor parking is here, so I'll kind of just do a walking tour for you guys, and then uh, I'll upload the stream later for anybody that wasn't able to catch it live. Cell phone signal is good. We'll see what happens when I get inside the garage. So anyway, this is the, uh, I figured we'd start out. I'm just walking over here from National. Actually, I just returned a car. So this is the visitor parking, but you can see the facility is massive. It's all in behind there. The EV charging isn't set up yet. This is the visitor lot. So let's uh, go for a walk in. I'm not sure the uh, best way in, but last time I just walked down the sidewalk here. It's a little bit of a breeze, the sun's out. It's actually quite nice with the breeze. It's a little warm when the breeze stops. There we go, there's the address on the corner of the building. And this is where I've seen cars coming out, so Pavis is all on the first level. Um, a couple people have been asking when everybody else is moving. Uh, chatting with the guys at National. They, last they heard was they might be moving over in May of next year, but of course we're still waiting for the... Uh, people mover to start operating. Avis is over here a little bit early, running shuttle buses in the meantime. Yeah. Hello guys, whoever just joined, if, uh, if somebody could just leave a comment, maybe say hello and just let me know if the, if the stream and the audio, everything is looking okay. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Should be able to see them on here. Got about 40% battery. We'll go for a walk through here. If there's anything uh, awesome? Thanks, appreciate it, Nick. I never know on these. Uh, I never know on these live streams if it's actually working or not. And welcome to any of the new subscribers. The uh, oh, I smoked the video I did of the Daily Driven Exotics block party. Just kind of blew up on uh, Sunday. wasn't expecting that, but yeah. yeah it was about 45,000 views and in a day that brought a lot of new subscribers to the channel. Appreciate you guys subscribing, watching the videos. That's awesome. Ah, you know, that's a good question. When uh, Sixth is moving, I haven't heard anything about Sixth, uh, but I did make a video of their selection. I was thinking of publishing that on Sunday. 
So you can look forward to that. I have a feeling nobody else is going to come over until the, uh, the train starts running. Unless, uh, unless they need to get out of their old space, so we'll see. Ah, uh, awesome. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, 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 that's right too. So I did, yeah, yeah, the zip cars. And I did look at the map. We're gonna have to take a look at the map again. Actually, it's on the sign right here. So the zip car, I think they were in one of the corners. This is all saying level five, but that's the, uh, I think that's the check-in counters. Okay, so here are, should be, yeah, oh, okay, I appreciate that, the J.O. Okay, well, that helps me once I get inside here. So here's the uh, shuttle buses. If you're uh, coming over from the airport, actually, I'm going to take, uh, I'm catching a flight tonight, so I'm going to actually take these back to the airport. Even though I returned to National, I just walked across the street. It's like five minutes away. So I'm going to take these back to the airport. Uh, I don't think I'll do that as a live stream, but I'll definitely record it to give you an idea of the route and the traffic and everything. Uh, until they, once they get that train running, it'll be awesome, because then you don't have to leave early to avoid the traffic. Okay, so we're coming in. I think the map was here. So this is the entrance, guys. And uh, this is what you see when you come in. So they, they're kind of here to help you out. Ava, Spy, okay, so let's just follow the signs. Just give everybody an idea of what it's like when you come off the bus. So all the orange signs are budget. Kind of in the middle here, and then the two ends, there's a lot of red signs lit up. That's going to be your Avis. Uh, so we got signs pretty much telling everybody where everything is. So the rental lobbies are on the fifth floor, but if you're fast break or Avis preferred, you can just do the first floor. So there is a fast break and a preferred booth on this floor, so you don't have to go upstairs if you have that. And I'm not sure if it assigns you the car in the app, how that works. I really should rent with Ava sometimes, so we uh, have a better idea. Just trying to check your comments here. Okay, rental lobbies. All right. How are we doing on the signal? You know, it looks like the signal's actually holding up. I was a little worried in here. I'm not sure if they have a Wi-Fi throughout the garage that we'd be able to use. Just streaming on AT&T prepaid data, so we're kind of low on the priority list here. All right, so here is, we've got, so here are the counters on the first floor, guys. For fast break and preferred, we'll go up to the fifth floor a little bit later. Uh, I need, appreciate that, I need to find the J section. These signs have numbers on them, but it looks like a letter. Okay, well, we got, yeah, no, I think we're, well, this is actually not too bad once you figure out how they got everything going here. So if you're, okay, so I guess if you're preferred or you have something booked in the app, there it tells you where your car is. And then here, M to W, 1 to 64. Okay, so the zip cars are not down here. They must be, well, we'll get to them eventually. We'll look for the, oh, here's that map I was looking for. Okay. So where, oh, you know what? They might be by where we came in. Okay, so here is the map, guys. I'm trying to scroll a little bit slower. So the J is in the bottom right. Big green lights. Here and then the customer service is behind me. Okay, so I got an idea where we are. So if we go right and then basically all kind of where we came in, if we would have just gone right, we probably could have cut right across over there. The keys will be in the car if you're assigned. Okay, so let's go for a walk. We're gonna go for a walk here, guys. We're here 
and I'm going to go for a walk probably all the way down here and then down to the zip cars down there and then I don't know we'll try and maybe do kind of a loop through here <laughs> I don't know we'll see how much battery I have what are we doing I've only got 35% I do have a battery pack in my uh, backpack here we could always plug in okay so let's go well this is actually not too bad so yeah they got everything signed pretty good yeah it's it's pretty nice it is nice in here though everything's new nice uh decent lighting um it's big though yeah this is man it's reminded me of some of the monster uh casinos in las vegas where it's just a maze for vans I do have a you know actually so I went national and then I walked over to Hertz and did a video so that'll be coming out uh, not sure what kind of vans you're asking for but I seem to recall uh, quite a few Pacifica and then uh, oh boy these all these uh, when I do a bunch of locations at once it all kind of blends together but uh, somebody even had a Honda van which is pretty rare Okay, so if we go down, down to the end here, guys. Oh, we are holding up on signal. Well, it looks like the signal's pretty good. And this looks like all returns, but if I follow the map, oh, there's some green way down there. Is that? Okay, well, this is the returns. Well, here, why don't I walk? So if you return your car, this is basically how you get back to the shuttle. Why don't I show you guys this? So if you return your car to Avis, you're coming in here. Oh, look at this, they got signs, everything, right? Uh, so I actually did a driving video here. So basically from there, you drive inside. This is where you drop it off, your return. Right now, Avis and budget only. And once you return, you just follow the, uh, all the signs here to the shuttle bus. Eventually, this will be the train upstairs, and uh, there's some escalators over there. I think those are just coming down right now. Same cars. I just see like a green, it's like a neon light down in the corner. Let's go down and see what's over there. Zipcar didn't move out here yet, guys. Because the okay, where's the where's the signs for J? Where it's or did I go the wrong way? Where's Cadillac Escalator on down on the end there? Uh, okay, so we're at C. Yeah, I thought Zipcar was gonna be here. Well, there is a green sign. Maybe they're just not here yet, guys. I don't know. This is where you're coming in. Yeah, have a new zip car down here, unless they're outside. There are... Can I get outside from here? There are some awnings over. Uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Zip cars this way to the left. You know, they might not... Not be here, but the sign is saying over here. So that I don't know, guys. Did I walk the wrong way? We're at C. Oh, there's some green lights. Okay. Maybe I just walked too far. So this is basically where you come in. Well, that's where you go back to the shuttles, but the shuttles are all along here. And we came in just down here. Did we just walk? Okay, there's the green signs. So there might not be cars here yet, but this is where they are. Oh, Andrew's booking a 12-passenger. Well, 
If you see something, let me know. I can take a closer look at it for you. Oh, there's one down there. Oh, the, uh, is that a 12 passenger? That white one past the uh, Lockheed. Don't let me forget to go back to the zip cars, guys. I don't see any there, but we'll take a look at where they're going to be. This, I think these, you know, I've never looked at one of these. Is this a 12 passenger? National had a couple of those too. Ford, this must be the Ford Transit fans. The window's down, so it might be open. Squeeze in here with my backpack. Sorry, guys. All right, so this is, well, oh no, yeah, Transit. Oh, well, that's cool. I've never looked inside one of these. So you got two seats. Let me show you. I don't know if we can get into the back, but I can kind of show you. Man, there's a lot of seats in there, guys. Um, can I get in on the other side? Transit 350. That's all T. Oh, you know what? We might be able to. I think we'll have a look inside here. Oh, there you go. Oh my gosh, how many seats? So you got two in the front, three in the middle, three in the middle, and then four in the back. Okay, let's put my math degree from the university to work here. We got 12 seats, including the driver. Yeah. I don't know if there's a way you can have a fourth one there. I don't think so, because you need to get back. Yeah, 12 passenger. Well, there you go. I always wondered about those. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, if you uh, any vehicles you want me to check out while I'm wandering around, I have 30% battery left, so we'll keep going. And I'll get my battery bank out or find an outlet somewhere, charge up a little bit more. So I don't see any zip cars, and I have a feeling that Mach E plugged in over by the zip cars is uh, that's probably an Avis car just charging there. Um, looks like the zip cars have charging. Ports. And yeah, so here you go. We got seven zip car spots. And I'm not lost yet, I think. Did we come? You know, I think we just came in on the other side of that uh, gate here, guys. So if you're coming in, you can just cut across there instead of going all the way around like I did. <laughs> Perfect for the Panaritrizer, yes. Yes, and lots of room for the lemonade machine in the back. Uh, <laughs> pick up the lemonade machine at the Panera and just put it in the back, and then you don't have to stop at Panera every couple hours for the unlimited uh, sips, unlimited drinks subscription. Okay, so let's let's take a wander through here. This is kind of interesting. So we got oh oh, hang on, are these zip cars here? You know, I kind of have a feeling they might not be, but well, I don't know. There's a lot of stickers on them. I have a feeling these are probably Avis cars. I don't see, I'm, I haven't rented from Zipcar forever, but they used to have transponders in them. And I, f I have a feeling these are probably just rental cars. But you can probably check, any of you guys are on Zipcar, you can probably check if anything's available here, but at least you know where they are now. And that was National Not Hertz. Correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, although videos for both will be coming. Okay, we got a Suburban there. These, I don't know why these, I don't know why these are alternating uh, budget Navis, but uh, anyway, it's all the same company, just budget typically has the higher mileage, low, uh, lower prices. That's right, the logo on the side of zip cars, yeah, so I don't think they're here yet. Camaro convertible. And I'm not sure how to do this, guys. These are pretty long aisles. Do we go up and down each aisle, or... I don't know, maybe we just walk around until I run out of battery. If there's anything you guys want me to look for, let me know. I'll keep my eyes open. You can check it out. Got a Tesla there. Hertz does have some EVs. 
there are even a couple lightning EV pickup trucks from Ford kicking around. All right, shuttle. So that is the upstairs. You know, guys, why don't we do that first? And then I can kind of walk around some more of the cars. Then you guys can kind of see uh, the layout of everything else here. There's another Camaro convertible that I like. Oh, you know what? Let's take a quick look at this. Uh, so this is the last year of the Hemi Challenger. They have the uh, 345 on the side, the RT. How many miles we got on here? 43,000, so they're getting up there. Hopefully they can hang on to a little bit longer. So I do like the rims on that. Has someone got the bigger screen in it too? With the nicer wheels? Oh, it does too. It does too. In the Hertz video, I looked at one that had the really tiny screen on it in the center for the radio. It's not coming up, but that's okay. Okay, so that goes all the way down. And all the way at the end, I think it's kind of the returns in the car wash down there. And then we just kind of came from down there. So let's... Let's go upstairs. A couple ways you can get upstairs. Try and find the escalators because the elevator might uh, drop out the signal. Escalator. Mm -hmm. If not for sure, the ones behind us should be running. That's where we came in. Where's the elevators? Is this where we came in? this way. Elevators. Oh, this. Okay. These might just be the down. So when I was here last week, some of them were just going, yeah, these are the down ones only. So they got them down only. And then the, uh, we just got to get to the main preferred area. Oh man, check out the size of these escalators, guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's at least, uh, five levels. Elevator. Okay, so let's get back to the uh, let's get back to the preferred booth because that's how I got up there last time. Around there, there were some up escalators. kind of where we started. Here's a Genesis AV. Hertz? I think Hertz is the only one with these. If it's unlocked, I'm just curious the mileage is. Older Mustang convertible. Yeah, 28,000. Wouldn't mind trying these one time. Yeah, so that's all electric. And it has, you know what it has is the fast charging. So the, I think it's the Ionic N EV. And the Gen, that Genesis has a really fast charging. again? Where? No, here's a... Oh boy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, I gotta find the preferred booth, because I think that's where the escalators are. So I just walk past that. I see preferred sign over here. Here we go. Okay, yeah. Preferred. Okay, so this is where the counters are, and I think this is where the escalator is that I took up. Otherwise, we're gonna have to take the uh, elevator. Oh, there's another escalator over there. Yeah, 
Yeah, he was just, if you're looking for an Escalade, I'd say it was probably a good bet. If you book the category for that. Okay, here's the uh, escalators I was looking for. And so this is where we came in, guys. Over here, and there's the sign in the booth. So let's onto that escalator that goes up forever. Oh, we do. Oh, 25% battery. Man, the battery's going down quick. We're starting to lose signal. Alright, well, let's see what the signal is like up here. Maybe I can uh, find some Wi-Fi. I apologize if it starts getting choppy, guys. I'll upload the uh, original recording once, uh, once we wrap things up here. Oh, we're starting to get a little... Yeah, no, the signal's back. Sorry about that, guys. Hi, Irving. Welcome to the live stream. Kind of did a walk around, a quick walk around the main level. We're on the uh, elevator, escalator, to the top floor. So eventually the uh, people mover will drop you off up here, and you don't have to sit in traffic in the shuttle. Avis is uh, the only one out here right now. Uh, so if you prefer to fast track with Avis and Budget, you can check in downstairs. But there's the Avis counters and Budget counters. They're the only ones open up here. Let's take a little walk around. So this is where the shuttle will be. Let me take a sneak peek. This is actually quite nice up here, guys. Once it's all done. I've got that uh, monster-sized uh, screen. I can probably show you over the fence here what, what the station's gonna be looking like. And that's pretty much where you'll be getting off. Once that's up and running, last I heard was they're doing some testing. It's been kind of delayed, although part, I don't know if it's part of the people more, but something opened up here today. I meant to look that up. I don't know if it's the connection to the subway or something uh, that was opened up today. Beautiful sunny day here. Oh, looks like they're still working on, I see a door open here. They must be working on... Uh, National Enterprise Alamo. Oh, I see a lot of boxes. Must be getting things set up there. So we're ready to move over. Here's the stairs. And yeah, National Enterprise Alamo oh, getting all set up. Got the signage in. Looks like they're doing the floors. Doing some electrical in the ceiling still. Got about, uh, down about 20% battery. Do a walk around here. Maybe walk around a little bit more on the first floor, and then I'm going to have to plug in, guys. But I figured I'd uh, got a little bit extra time before my flight. I figured I might as well try going live. The more of these I do, the better I seem to get at them. Kind of put the hang on knowing what to look for and everything. So there's Alamo in there. They're still doing the floors. Dollar Thrifty is kind of fenced off. Europe Car, Fox. Sixt is down. I got a boot down there in the corner. Down there. Can I show you guys? Yeah. Although, you know, actually, I was just thinking, what happens when it rains? It doesn't rain a lot here, but you know what happens when it rains is they've got, uh, oh, that's good. They've got these overhead walkway things, so you can get to the counters and back without getting caught in the rain. That's kind of nice. That's all covered in the middle. And there's, we just kind of went around in a circle there. There's where the, uh, the people mover would drop you off. 
Roberts here. Avis budget down there. Customers. They got a lot of counters. It uh, sure brings a LAX car rental into the next uh, century <laughs> compared to all the old operations, all the old buildings and everything. Yeah, this is actually quite nice. Everybody will be able to come here no matter who you're renting with. Train back and forth to the airport. Uh, yeah, that'll be nice for sure. Can we still get down? Yeah. We can still get down over there. Back down to level one. I'm just gonna pause here for a sec, guys. Take a drink of water. Actually, I just returned to National from Malmo Enterprise. It's all the same, uh, well, the same company under Enterprise Mobility, the same facility. So the uh, one of the guys I was chatting with there said the last word was they're going to be moving in May, but um, <clears throat> this whole facility has been delayed. It feels like 10 years. So who, <laughs> who knows when everybody's going to finally get over here? The only thing I'm thinking is uh, I don't think anybody else is coming over until they get that train up and running once they finish the testing on that. feeling too with Avis out here they're probably just doing a bit of a test run of everything too so uh, I guess I'm a bit of time to sort out any issues with that so let's uh, go back downstairs and uh, man you know I can't remember the last time I seen one of these long escalators in uh, North America I remember seeing a couple in Asia I'm thinking a Terminal 21 in Bangkok has a really long uh, escalator. So this one's basically five levels. You're going up or down. Not sure what they're going to do once they open up the other levels. So you can kind of see the other levels are empty there. So there's three, two, and three. I don't know. You can't really see four through here. So maybe to the left is another bank of elevators, escalators. down there about 15 percent battery guys so I'll do a quick walk we should probably wrap it up anyway it's uh, probably putting you guys to sleep it's about uh, 34 minutes in here and uh, maybe I'll charge up and uh, do another uh, walking video of some of the Avis cars we'll see we'll see how things go here but, uh, so I think this is the side we walked through to get to the zip cars and we ended up going around in a circle so let's all right let's do this one more time this is where you're coming in. Restrooms are over here if you need that. Alright, don't we head over to. Uh, let's just head down to Avis, guys. This is new, but the orange and red. 
Maybe that's just in the, you know what, maybe in the middle they're, they got it set up like that so they can park depending on where they need a spot. They can change them over. There's that challenger, ooh, that challenger's got some damage on that right side. If you, anybody's written that, make sure you get that written down. Oh, here comes a transit van. Well, you get to listen to one. Probably using that for moving staff around. They could even, that's the crazy thing. The building's so big. <laughs> if, you, if you're going from one end to the other, you can probably, they probably run in one of those vans. Almost, might need those for the customers. <laughs> if your spot's all the way in the other end of the building. Uh, somebody come through on a Jeep Compass. So this, I think this side is mostly the Avis side. Let me do a walk down some of these aisles here. That's kind of empty over there, so let's, what am I doing on battery? We're still 15%. If, uh, if you guys want me to take a look at anything, drop a comment. I can uh, take a peek inside anything while we're out here. There's a Willys Wrangler. Larger Buick SUV, one of those larger Infinities. Expedition Cadillac Escalade. You know, I think if you want a Cadillac Escalade, I think Avis is probably your best bet. These are, what is that? That sounds pretty good. Hornet RT. Well, it sounds like a sounds like a two-liter turbo with a an exhaust on it. Are these open? Oh guys, it is open. Okay, so what do we got for mileage here? That's 40,000, okay. <laughs> if you want an Escalade, but you don't mind, it's got a lot of miles on it, Avis has uh, got you covered. That's one of the nice things, many many reasons why I like National, but another reason why I like National is they tend to have a newer fleet, less mileage on it. Okay, so these are probably overflow down there. This is a Camaro convertible. And... Cadillac. I'm not sure what those are. If that's the XT6. We Mach-E. We got some cars coming and going. What are we doing on signal? Yeah, it's good signal still. And we got a Tesla down here. I, you know, guys, I might just go till the battery drops. Maybe a couple minutes before it drops. There's that uh, Hornet RT. These aren't selling too well, so that's why a lot of them are... Uh, Stellantis is having a lot of problems over in North America with selling selling their fleet. But, uh, you know, I would... You know, I'd probably try that sometimes, especially the RT. If it's got a bit of an exhaust on it, it'd be kind of fun, maybe. Got more Avis Preferred here, and then we got some bigger aisles down there. So, oh, and that must be oh God, it goes way down. That must be the car wash. It sounds like car wash down there. See a couple Tahoes on the left. Here comes that transit van, so that's probably what they're doing. They're moving people around. Maybe, uh, maybe I can get a ride in that back to the <laughs> back to the shuttles after all this walking. There's a Ram 1500 pickup. These these are all coming out of the car wash. Bunch of Tesla Model Threes. Should we do a mileage check on this Suburban? Why not? I don't know. I don't know. Is it, are all of these higher miles? For 75,000 miles, guys. Can you see that? There you go, 75,000. Oh, just went off. Oh, that's a lot of miles. A lot of miles. Not really a problem if it's properly maintained, but the kind of the biggest concern I have with the higher mileage cars is a lot of times they put cheap tires on and don't balance them properly, so you get vibration. Oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah, you can tell by the license plate. So that's an 8V license plate. All the newer ones, so this would be a little bit newer, is a 9J. Anything L M N P O P. I think 9P is starting on the license plate is pretty much the newer ones. Price of 300, good to see those still around. There's another Escalade. And if the battery holds up, why don't we do these uh, two more aisles here, guys, and then we can wrap things up. Signal over 10%. And the signal's dropping a little bit, so we'll kind of see if I can walk a little bit faster. Torque Ram. It's another Cadillac. Ionic 5 there. Hyundai. Oh, there's a lightning down at the end. Pickup truck. On the left, you'll see that when we pan over, come back. 10%. If, it, if the stream drops suddenly, guys, it's the battery. I don't know once you get down near the end. Your battery, you never know if it might drop suddenly on you. What's this uh, F-150? Is that a Lariat? Plat oh, guys, this is a Platinum. Some of you guys like the uh, pickup trucks. Yeah, you don't see the Platinum very often. If it's not locked, let's take a peek. Uh... Oh, this is nice. Look at that leather stitching. Platinum. There you go. 75th. F series 75 years. Oh, not too bad. 36,000 miles on it. Ooh, guys, I can see why you like these. This is, uh, yeah, pretty nice. Even the back seat. Yeah. 4x4. Four four. Platinum, you got the big platinum on the back. There you go. Got all the chrome wheels, chrome trim. That is, that'd be nice uh, if you need a truck. Yeah. Okay, back to uh, back to the, some of the other cars here. Sanji, hello from Montreal. How are you? Good to see you on the stream. We are. I'll probably. Uh, I'll probably upload the original of this later. There were a couple of parts where the signal was dropping out. Is this a new... I don't know if I've looked at the new QX... Is this an 80? This is the big one, isn't it? Or is it the 60? Oh, so it's got the new info to him, right? 62,000 miles on it. It is the 60. Okay, so the QX60, and then we got the uh, electric Benz beside it. Hertz had a bunch of those for a while. I think they sold them all off. EQB 300. I think that's electric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's definitely uh, Pacifica Mini there. Oh, Camaro Convertible. So I basically just returned that, except for a National. Same color, black, V6. A quick video tour of that coming up. There's a Grand Wagoneer. There goes the transit van. Uh, can you take me back to the airport in that transit van? Okay. There's a new Mustang. Got an escape over here. Uh, oh, we kind of, I think we got enough battery to do this at the end. There was somebody in the Challenger V6. Here's one of the newer Cadillacs, so the wiper no key. Is this an XT6, guys? I think it's, I'm thinking this is an XT6 with just the new front end on it. Here's the back of that Yukon Denali. 400, yeah, XT6, all wheel drive. Got a Murano there. Silverado. What's the trim on that Silverado? It doesn't say. It's got the running boards on it. Is this? This might be uh, something, guys. Oh yeah, it's got a little wood paneling. Is this uh, what is Chevy? Chevy calls them Premier. I wonder if this might be a Premier, although it's cloth seats. And I don't know if I can get in behind. Can 
Silverado. No, I think it's just an LT. Hmm. That's not fun. Maybe an LT with running boards. And we got a Lincoln. Lincoln Navigator. Something in Durango here. Just trying to stay out of everybody's way. Etor Kemi 1500 pickup Durango, not the RT. Still 10% on battery, so I think we might be able to get through this arm and then maybe the one to the left. There's another Hornet. Oh boy. <laughs> Recall, blocker, security. Yeah. There's another Transit van. Oh, is that newer Escalade or GMC Denali? What, uh, this might be worth having a peek. 8G, well, it's probably got some miles on it. Is it, uh, see keys on it? Oh, she got the moving, uh, running boards. 38,000 miles, key in the vehicle. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at the room in the back, guys. They got the seats folded down. Captain's chairs in the back. Oh, this would be uh, nice. Yeah. Chrome tailpipes, Yukon Denali. Oh, you know what it's that? I like that blue. That almost looks black. That almost like a metallic. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it comes across on the camera. It's an expedition beside it. Mini vans. How do we do? Oh. Oh boy, battery's getting down to 5%. Okay, I think we're going to have to wrap it up at the end of this aisle, guys. Why don't I wrap it? I just don't want it to drop off. So why, why don't I say the goodbyes now? I will probably upload this, guys, as... Well, you know, I'll take a look at the, the live stream. If it's dropping out, I'll just re-upload the, the recording on the phone. And here's a bigger van, too. here, but, um, okay, let's finish off with this wagon here, and look at this thing. Hopefully the battery doesn't run out, so this, I think this is a package with all the black and the roof. It's got a big name to it. What is it? The, uh, you know, it doesn't say it, but I think, guys, if you go on the website, it will tell you what this is. Or maybe it's just a black oak package, but it's a grand wagon here. The big, uh, Again, it's got the big Tom Macintosh on here. 55,000 miles. Oh man, series two. Look at all those screens and everything. Oh man, I gotta rent one of these sometime. Wow, man, if you want a big SUV, you gotta set you as long as you don't mind a few miles. Hey, this has got you covered, it looks like. Oh, yeah, look at this. It's got the screen in the back seat. Oh, man. Another sunroof in the back. Oh, God, there's speakers in the roof all over the... Oh, man, this is loaded. Loaded. I'm not sure what uh, trim that is, but it's definitely a higher trim. I'll have to take a look on the website later. We got for battery 5%. Holding on, guys. And you know, I think I'm gonna wrap it up just so it doesn't uh, mess up the recording or anything. So, thanks everyone for joining in. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And just a quick reminder if you're new to the channel, I always say this uh, go ahead and click on that subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. as I quickly run down to the end of the aisle here. All right, we'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. If I can figure out how to stop the stream. <laughs> All right, yeah, I see you. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye for now.